This is the guts of an MSA Firefly 2 um, pass device. Really what it is, it's an alarm for firefighters and various emergency rescue type personnel um, who should always, in theory, be moving when they're doing their jobs. And if they're not moving, something's probably gone horribly wrong. So really what this is, this is a motion sensing alarm that is triggered by it not moving for by by it not moving for something like 30 seconds or so um, and inside extremely simple it's um, a PIC 16C54 a very old microcontroller and um, one time programmable of course the um, Nowadays, if you're going to use something like this, you'd at least use a, six, um, a um, 16F54, which I think I actually have some because they're so cheap, even though they need external clocking. Um, because at least I don't think they have an, an internal... Yeah, I think I see a resonant. Yeah, there's a resonator right there, that a blue thing in the center of the view. But, um... Yeah, so again, very old but then again the micros made uh, week 47 1995 and the actual alarm is June 1996 and uh, when I got this the uh, dead corroded battery had taken the uh, old battery holder with it so I had to uh, graft on a new one and it was also there was originally a cover on this but I had to cut that off because otherwise it wouldn't fit it was designed for one of those um, uh, vinyl covered cardboard type um, much cheaper than this, but they're also a third the cost type of a just battery snap. Again, FR4 PCB, really good. A pair of push buttons, which are actu actuated by a um, raised um, recess on the top button, and they go through a pair of um, plastic um, or rubber uh, or these plastic bits that are in this um, rubber encapsulation that molds them into the case. Uh, this is an intrinsically safe device, so a lot of that is just really to make sure that all the electronics and all the stuff where the electricity is are completely sealed so that nothing can get in, get in and cause anything horrible, like a spark inside any of this in a flammable atmosphere causing explosions and miscellaneous unhappy not good. And there's a couple of super bright LEDs, um, one uh, on each side of the PCB and one on this um, recess thing that shines through a lens on the front. Um, there's also this metal thing which I'm guessing is probably a temperature switch or a thermistor. I don't think the PIC 16054, yeah, they don't have ADCs, so that's probably not in there. And I don't see any operational amplifiers on this it's, or a comparator. So that's probably just a thermal switch and not a um, a um, something like a thermistor. And the reason for that being that um, this metal being outside in the uh, ambient in the um, ambient atmosphere around the thing means that it can be fairly easily temperature-wise influenced, or it it can very easily reach the temperature of the ambient atmosphere so again if something if it's too hot around the thing don't know what the threshold would be but if that gets too hot um, again triggers an alarm and again really good brass insert on the um, battery door thing which also is the legend for the switch off on which means it just emits a continuous alarm and auto which means that it uses the motion sensor which is this little ball bearing thing and probably a series of interrupted contacts inside that um, gold-colored metal can. There's a um, black component in there. That thing, probably not a beeper. I think the um, piezo discs, because I'm guessing from the size of the thing, they're probably piezo. There's one in each of these two resonant cavities. I'm guessing that might be a capacitor or... It, I don't know what exactly that, or there might be an inductor or some kind of a drive circuit for the um, for the uh, piezos, which to make sense and uh, 
And there's well, the problem is I can't really see all the circuit board because it's held in place by the wiring. Because this thing was not designed to be opened up. And then, then there's a um, yeah, there's a couple of transistors. Those are probably for drive. Uh, BC 549s, very typical um, European part number devices, which is to be expected. This thing was made in the uh, United Kingdom. Uh, I don't know what that other one is though, because some of that um, <clears throat> it's um, too hard to be silicone. I think that might be some kind of epoxy. Um, is uh, covering up the part. And then down there, there's a um, buried back in there. There's a uh, at a yeah, that's a seven eight L zero five. That's just the five volt supply for the micro and a uh, tantalum. Uh, supply rail bypass cap and then there's just a couple of these little um, foam cushions on the back of the uh, case I just sold that to keep the circuit board in position that's just miscellaneous guff on the back cover and other than that it's a really simple thingamajig and of course these screws are, do not have brass inserts, but these are really designed to only ever be inserted once. Because this thing isn't intended to be uh, disassembled.